Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the Year is ending, and of course, Future Stars is our next promo on hand, and a lot of the cards we expect to see in this game tomorrow have been leaked. We have a ton of leaked cards to look through today. Basically, the whole promo team, it seems, and a lot of big names in there. I want to look at these leaks and talk with you guys about them because they're definitely going to impact the market. A lot of really big wonder kids getting cards for future stars this year, right? We have expected and official stats as well, which gives us a really good idea of how hype this promo is going to be. And, of course, it is the last day of Team of the Year today. No Team of the Year is packed yet for me. I'm still trying. I'm still doing upgrade packs. And I'm also trying to make some coins at the moment uh, with, you see, the coin total, of course, being very low. But, of course, today on the market, is it's going to be very interesting today because we have had the milestone rewards. Um, it, it ends, right? Today, the season reset, of course, in a couple of hours, we're going to be getting new level 15, level 30 rewards, division milestone rewards, along with the rivals and a lot of this objective stuff in here, resets with all new packs and stuff to look out for today. So I will talk about the market a good amount today, and we're going to look at a lot of leaks and especially talk about fodder because we saw our last team of the year SBC yesterday I do believe I think today is going to be a really quiet day of content and I'll talk about why I think that as well so if you're excited for the video today hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's start from the top by talking about these leaks first thing I want to actually talk about though is this screen in game there's no official leaks about the future stars academy but seeing this is nice and it kind of confirms hopefully that we're getting five future stars academy cards during this upcoming two-week Future Stars promo. If you don't remember what Future Stars Academy is, basically they give you a card that you're kind of going after, right? Let's say it's like Let's use Adeyemi, right? We've already seen that card leaked. It's not going to be a Future Stars Academy card, but you get like the highest rated Adeyemi as the final reward. You start with the low rated one, you figure out, you do objectives, you in complete um, objectives in the game, and you build up to get the end product, right? It's a really fun and probably the most popular kind of like um, play and upgrade objective set we have all year in FIFA. So that's exciting. Hopefully we get some more news about that here very soon. I'm assuming that those nationalities there are kind of showing us a teaser like a loading screen of the cards that are going to be in that. But we don't exactly know what those players are just yet. But we do know a lot of the players that we're expecting to see in this team. Now, we've already talked about a couple of them, and some of you guys have seen these already, but there are so many. So strap in, and we're about to look at some really hype cards. First, of course, Adiemi. Stats are predicted on this one. Not entirely sure, but he is on, I believe, one of the players on the loading screen. So he is definitely going to be in packs this Friday as one of those players. Now, we have so many leaks to talk about today. Some of these guys, we have to also mention, could be in team number two. But the fact that these have expected stats really makes me think that a lot of players we're looking at today are most likely going to be in team number one. Gavi, what's the surprise here, right? A decent looking card for him. And what we are looking for with a lot of these leaks is skill move and weak foot upgrades. Gavi needs to be one of those that gets a skill move weak foot upgrade. He is on the loading screen as well, hopefully getting his card this week in packs. Again, you see on the leaks here, stats expected. Kalulu is one of these. This one to me looks a little underwhelming statistically, but with the links, definitely going to be a pretty hyped card. We were talking about in the stream, probably going to be about 60,000 coins. You compare them to the Bremer card, pretty similar. So probably 60, 65K for that Kalulu, not that expensive. This is the third card on the loading screen that we have right now, Julian Alvarez. This one is massive. This is probably going to be the most expensive Expensive card in this week's set of future stars, if not at least the top two or top three most expensive card. We need the five star skills on this card. But guys, as you see the names of these leaked cards that are coming out, again, these are stats expected official stats for this Julian Alvarez 90 pace, 90 dribble, 91 shooting. They're putting out the big name players. We haven't even got to some of the bigger names yet, too. They're putting out the big guys, right? EA is going all out and they're trying to bring the hype with this Future Stars promo, and the stats look pretty good, but of course, the skill move and the weak foot upgrades, like we mentioned for some of these cards, will take them from good to great. Gavardio's card is a plus two all around from his team in the tournament. Looks really, really good. I mean, really good, but it's probably going to be pretty cheap, right? Bundesliga has been sh shown some love recently. Probably going to be shown some love again in Future Stars. We've already had the Adiemi leaked, and now Gavardio. A couple more cards potentially coming. That's a good-looking card right there, but probably going to be pretty cheap. This one is a very interesting one. Ryan Cherokee, 5 star, 5 star is not an upgrade. That's his base silver item. Rare silver, 5 star, 5 star. 
This has been a guy that people have wanted to get a future star for a long time. The stats don't look that amazing, but the fact that he's five star, five star is probably going to demand a premium for his price on the market. And just because of the hype of this man um, and the potential that he could be, right? That's, of course, you guys know this. The whole point of this promo is players that have a lot of potential. U23, right? I think that's the cutoff for a lot of these guys. Under 23 years old uh, is basically the gist of this promo. Gehi from Crystal Palace. That's a pretty nice card as well. Um, not amazing, but decent. Probably going to be pretty cheap as well. Uh, but moving up the list, Manchester United, you're getting shown some love. Anthony Alanga. A lot of people wanted Garnacho, but Garnacho is not even added into the game. If you try to search him up on the transfer market, he's not even there, at least when I last searched recently. But Alanga is going to be that guy for United. 88 dribbling, 85 shooting, 84 passing at this stage of the game. Doesn't seem that fantastic, but probably going to be pretty good in game. Need some skill move weak foot upgrades here on this Elanga as well. That's going to be at least a somewhat meta card. And again, like I said, a lot of these cards, it really comes down to the in-game boost stats and the skill move and weak foot. Now, this guy, if this, there's not five-star skills on Mutrik, then there's going to be a problem, right? People are going to not be happy if that's the case. This is probably one of the most, if not the most hyped up card in future stars for a lot of people. Mudrick, he's getting a card. Hopefully it has five star skills. And these are the expected stats. 89 dribble, 86 shooting, 87 passing, and 94 pace. Guys, there's a lot of attackers in here, right? We look at Mudrick, we look at Alanga, we look at, you know, a couple center backs, but Cherky, his card is a center attacking mid, is actually a position change. His base silver has like striker, right wing, left wing. Um, then you've got Alvarez in there again. We looked at Adiemi already. A lot of attackers, right? But that's where the hype is with these younger guys and these wonder kids, right? A lot of attackers, a couple midfielders, and probably only some defenders and we do have some defenders to look at we'll talk about that but Mudrick is so hyped also a lot of Premier League in here too so just kind of take notice um, where the hype is right now with these leagues another one PSG this is the one that we expected from PSG Vitinha a club 80 card not too bad pretty good dribbling pretty good passing kind of reminds me of like a Pedri card um, maybe with a little bit more defense that's some pretty nice links. Watch out once to watch Renato Sanchez uh, with that card coming into the game. We've got a goalkeeper in Diogo Costa from uh, Portugal. This is definitely deserved uh, for a Future Stars card there. And then we have a couple defenders. Singo in the Serie A. That's going to be a pretty cheap card. And Jed Spence, which of course I am sad as a Tottenham fan that he is no longer at the club, he is loaned out to the League One. So this is going to be an English right back in the League One. And this is one of those cards that we're not entirely sure if he's going to be in packs or if he is one of the English cards that is shown here in the Foot Future Stars Academy. So we'll probably get some more information about that soon. I would expect to see more leaks today. Watch out on Twitter for more leaks because that I believe we just all the players that we just looked at, I think we have around 14 total players that are leaked and that's almost enough to make up a promo squad. But again, um, we're not entirely sure if all of the guys that we just looked at are going to be in packs tomorrow on Friday or if it's going to be one of those like, hey, this is a big leak of a lot of players. Some of them are going to be split up between, between Team 1 and Team 2. And obviously, you might be like, Nate, where's Cavaradona? Where is Musiala, right? There's some other names that could be put in. Yes, there are. And there's even one leak I want to show you guys. We have to be careful with this one. We really have to be careful of this one, but I think I have some, it reminds me a lot of the Foot Centurions. I think I have some insight here. Cavaradona, uh, the Napoli player, right? This is somebody that everybody wanted to get a future star card. He has been leaked by this FIFA 20 Leaks account. This guy leaked Zlatan and Royce from the Centurions promo a couple weeks ago early. Cavaradona and Musiala are maybe not coming into packs tomorrow or this Friday, but they might be a part of team number two. So be careful with these leaks. I don't, I'm not expecting them right now, but this guy did leak Zlatan and Royce in the same manner. He leaked them a week before early. They didn't come in team one. We were disappointed. Then they dropped in team two. So I don't think it's out of the uh, situation yet that Musiala or um, Cavaradona gets a card. Just maybe not this Friday, but that's such... I mean, guys, you look at these leaks, there's a lot of really top-tier meta players in here, really hype guys like Mudrik, like Gavi, Elanga, uh, Cherki, and Julian Alvarez. This one's, uh, this uh, Future Stars promo, I almost said once to watch, not at all. This Future Stars promo 
feels pretty hype, right? The stats look pretty good. It's all going to come down to the prices on the market as well. And that's what this promo is usually pretty good at is bringing some nice, more affordable players with a lot of hype to the market after we have a very, very expensive team of the year and prices that basically seem unattainable. And I think that's why you're seeing some prices dip a little bit on the market. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. But I do want to switch our focus to look backwards to the last full day of team of the year today and talk about the potential content because that is up and coming as well. And I really think it's going to be a slow day of content today, right? We've got the last full day possible to try to pack team of the years. I'm going to be opening more upgrade packs today, just going for it. And again, full sending some coins by doing these upgrade packs. I'm still trying to get a blue and I have not got one yet. But I really think today we might only have one or two SBCs today. And I think one of those is for sure going to be marquee matchups. And I do believe our token will be in here today. Our token being the Foot Future Star Swap token, which we did have two more of released yesterday in objective for Silver Star. So we called that one. If you got your silvers, GG's. I think today, as it was during Winter Wild Cards, this token today might be in marquee matchups. Now that would put us, if we only get one token today, that would put us on um, nine tokens, which is interesting because I had mentioned earlier in the week that we might be able to open a pack or maybe if we get 10 tokens and 84 times 20 on the promo Friday tomorrow. I just don't exactly know if we are going to see the rewards available in SBCs tomorrow on the content drop with the new promo coming out. It might not be until next week, maybe on the weekend at some point. So don't count on that. But if you're staying up to date with your swap tokens, we have eight that are out right now. Maybe we'll have a ninth or maybe a 10th uh, today on Thursday to look out for. If you missed yesterday's tokens, there is two inside of Silver Stars right here for the win three objective. And then also for completing the whole group, uh, you get two there. So we are at eight tokens right now. And that's kind of the update with those and there's no other leaked player species Fofana was the last one so i'm not expecting anything player wise today i really do believe it'll be a pretty quiet day now the only other thing we have a question about is what species are refreshing today right that's been a theme all week every day we've had species that are refreshing um i don't know if like the 83 double i did that yesterday i think that one's done the 85 times three defender if you look on like the, the timers here in game are very glitchy sometimes sometimes they say they're going to re-up sometimes they say they're, they're not going to i do believe we'll be able to do the 85 double upgrade once more time today i don't know about the 85 three defender though i think these were first put into the game so they we we would not be able to do them one more time we can do them twice on their refreshes and then they would be gone i don't believe we're going to get that today but the 80 five double does look like it's going to refresh and then other than that the daily logins going away today so that is an adios see you later and then the draft token will refresh so honestly guys a pretty quiet day of content today is what i'm expecting I, i'm not entirely sure how ea is going to update that loading screen because they've already got players on the loading screen which is usually what we see today so i don't know if ea have anything up their sleeve in terms of something that we don't know about yet or something that we're not expecting so watch the loading screen today as well that maybe could give us a hint on some more information upcoming with the future stars promo now let's talk about fodder because fodder prices are dropping like crazy this is the index 86 and right what this is is this is preparation for the promo this weekend people expecting packs to be open and also i think every single season we see this every couple weeks right when the season resets there's always a little bit of panic selling before the milestone rewards get paid out which are very which is very confusing to me because milestone rewards are all untradeable even if you take tradable rivals rewards all of the milestone packs are untradeable even though they're pretty good packs think about how Fewer people maybe played all 90 games this cycle of Division Rivals. I know I played a lot less games this season just because there was winter wild cards going on with a lot of swaps, friendly games, squad battles. And now even with the team of the year, uh, you know, cup and the draft stuff that was going on, I feel like I played a lot less of the Rivals game. So that's going to mean maybe less rewards hitting the game today. But as you can see, a lot of people have been selling fodder because there's two things here, right? The kind of panic and the sell-off because of the promo come this weekend, the supply, and it's kind of the demand ending as well. Those are the two things, right? Sell-off, panic, and second, the demand ending because 
I think a lot less people are doing those SBCs that are out right now. A lot of people are done doing upgrade packs. And especially since those like 85 times three packs are kind of dwindling away and people have done those, your demand is really kind of going down. So your 85s dropped a lot yesterday. There was a bit of a spike at content on some of these because that 85 refreshed again. You can see here, boom, little spike. And then now they're just kind of going downwards. I mean, we looked at 86s, right? And they were at like 20,000 coins yesterday. Now they're 16, 17K. They might have a little bit of a rise today as people get rewards go out and do a couple of SBCs. But what this is really setting us up for, especially for the low to mid tier market, it's setting up us up for a really good investment opportunity Friday or Saturday of this weekend. As we look into next week, the future stars, player SBCs, more icon packs, maybe a hero pack or player pick, right? More of those types of SBCs will absolutely be coming. Party bags as well. Usually during future stars, we start to see some more of that party bag type content and we haven't seen too much of that recently so i think this weekend will be a great time to get fodder ggs if you invested in fodder this last week it really it really did bits right it really did the high rated fodder is still holding pretty well at about 70k for 91s and high 50s for 90s down a little bit but still holding i think if you want to take the cash on those especially for like you know ben's Messi de bruyne will be back in packs this weekend you could do that if you wanted to we need some more icon spcs to keep that stuff kind of inflated as well, right? Zidane is expiring, like I think today or tomorrow. Jorginho is already expired. We have other icons that are out there, but with Zidane uh, expiring for sure, I think that'll hurt a little bit some of the demand of this high tier fodder. And then the market in general, and that's why, you know, I talked about having a lot or actually not having a lot of coins right now. Some prices kind of dropped off yesterday. I think in just some panic because of the milestone rewards. Once again, I picked up an Allen St. Maximin and about 520,000 coins just because he was down a good amount. I actually picked up a couple Bernardo Silva of the Road to the World Cup or no, the Path to Glory World Cup card at uh, like 580K because usually he's around like 620, 630 um, and he's a pretty rare card and we have the Julian Alvarez that is upcoming as well. So that's the one thing I would also mention with these future star cards is that a lot of the market is up, right? We know this prices everywhere are basically through the roof and I think we have to be careful uh, with with maybe trying to invest in leak, uh, link investments, right? With that, like Bernardo Silva linking to the Julian Alvarez, I'm not buying that because he links to him. Really, I'm buying that because he's just a rare card that was low in price. I just think you have to be a little bit careful when doing that because um, there's going to be new cards that drop on the game this weekend with a lot of hype. So especially like we talked about, some of your attackers, I would want to be pretty careful with. Um, but then even some of the rest of this game and the rest of the prices of cards in this market in that middle tier of like, 200,000 coins to like um, maybe five, 600K. I do believe that that market could take a little bit more of a hit this weekend uh, because people want to try out the brand new cards. So just be careful if you have cards on this game at the moment. I'm not saying there's going to be a big crash or anything along those lines. I'm actually not saying that at all. I'm just saying to keep an eye on some cards because depending on what content comes out this weekend, there's still a lot of coins on the market as well. Prices will probably stay pretty nice and inflated on a lot of players. Team of the Year cards, we just saw the leaks, right, for these future stars. Team of the Year cards are clear, and I don't think they're really going to crash because, again, they are clear of, of basically all of these future stars that are coming out. So if you have one of these Team of the Years, I think you will see a couple of them drop off a little bit, but I don't think it'll be that major at all because, again, these guys are clear. Did Benzema just, like, get rare or something? Is Benzema 3 mil? He was literally just 2.9. Wow, or 2.8, now he's 2.9. So these guys are still very high, very inflated in price, and it's kind of crazy. But some of the markets dropped off just a little bit uh, with the leaks from yesterday and with new cards coming and, and a lot of hype for those upcoming future star players in this game. So definitely just keep an eye out for that. Now, with the milestone rewards, again, we talked about it just briefly at the beginning. New level 15 and level 30 rewards. Last season, they gave us packs, right? That's part of the content for today is to look and see what is in here. Usually, we're used to players, right? We got the 81 midfielders pack for level 15 and then the positions pack last season. I think they would go back to players, although I'm sure that EA noticed that people love to packs uh, during this season, and maybe they will just give us packs again. We'll have to see what they do inside of here. I actually don't think I minded it because level 29, 50K pack, you got some pretty good packs inside of here. They definitely increased the value of the packs, and even though they took away some of the players. So the players that we always complained about anyway in season rewards because they were not good. So we'll see what EA decides to do today on this game and then we do have one final leak to take a look at i think this is actually pretty big this might be a sbc that a lot of people want to get done it is a player of the month marcus 
Rashford. He is the winner of the award. Now, the question is, when is this SBC going to drop? It always, always the Premier League Player of the Month drops on Fridays. The question is, will it be tomorrow in the morning or will it be next Friday in the morning? And that is very interesting. The fact that he has already been awarded as the winner makes me think that it would be tomorrow. Uh, but of course, the, the Premier League Player of the Month is usually dropped on a Friday. And usually it's like the second Friday of the month. But it could very well be the first Friday because voting kind of started early. So it would end early. And this might be tomorrow. So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, but Rashford winning that award uh, is pretty big as well. And I just hope that EA give him a plus two boost off of his inform. You might be like, Nate, what about Rashford's um, 89 rated card? Isn't he going to get like a, or sorry, his 88. Isn't he going to get an 89 player of the month? Well, unfortunately, I don't think so. This is his last performance-based inform. And they've really not been upgrading player of the month very nicely this year. I know that Odegaard, uh, we were hoping for Odegaard to be a 90, right? And he only got a plus one over his 88 inform to go to an 89. And since Rashford is that type of prolific player that's been playing really well in real life and is an attacker and is playing really well consistently recently, have potential to get more special cards, more informs, performance-based cards like that. Uh, I think EA might, it, it even could be an 86 Rashford, which would be very unfortunate. Hopefully it's an 87. Uh, but if it's going to be an 87, hopefully the price of this SBC is somewhere around like 250 to 300K because a nice plus two boost over this Rashford would be nice. And if they gave him like a four-star uh, boost in terms of the weak foot as well, That'd be a very, very nice craftable SBC for a low to mid budget. Uh, also a pretty meta card as well. So watch out for that. That might be dropping early tomorrow. We'll see if we get any more information on that today on a Thursday. But in reality, guys, I feel like today is going to be a pretty quiet day. There were some issues with the servers yesterday. And EA hasn't even tweeted a response yet. I know a lot of people were not even able to play Rivals yesterday. I didn't play Rivals at all during the week. So I'm not getting rewards today. I only got 30 out of 50 on the milestone. So I'm only getting the first set of the, the rewards to 25 games. But EA said uh, they're still investigating reports, and that was like literally 12 hours ago. So they have not said a word about if they're going to extend the rewards or if anything of that nature is going to change today. You know when the servers go down, they extend foot champs, right? Well, that I don't think has ever happened with rivals. We'll see if they do anything along those lines, but I'm not expecting much. But what I do know is the Future Stars hype is absolutely here, and really it's going to come down to the pack weight. We'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow, but hopefully these Future Star cards are pretty packable because it's been abysmal this last week trying to pack Team of the Years. Even this 500k pack in the store tempts me more than it has ever been because I've seen a lot of people packing Team of the Years from this, but 500k, man. It's just so much, bro. I get way more fodder from doing 500k of upgrade packs than I will from doing 500k of this. So I'm going to keep doing upgrade packs. Hop in the stream today if you want to see me do more of those and hopefully pack a team of the year. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.